Come on, all players on the road to the Hello Boxing and Shy Boxing Crocodile. The ones to the other positive milk zone. Let's take two rock and teach all two from sincerity. Um, this is gonna be called uh, the Kingdom. Uh, prepare for you elect uh, for you elect of 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 Yahweh's side uh, from the beginning. Um, so this is uh, First Peter chapter one verse four. Who in inherited incorruptible and undefiled and that faith is not away reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of the most high through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time because um you know Yahweh Shai when he come back he's going to gather his elect from the four corners of the earth um especially from Babylon uh, which is America and um they're going to be gathered into the chariot and they're going to be crowned. They're going to receive that glorious body and they're going to be crowned. Um, and that, you know, at that point, they'll be a part of the kingdom of heaven. Um, you know, and that be before he come down and, and, and tell, instruct um, the men of the Lord. Uh, to gather these heathens up and bring the heathens into captivity, you know. But um, but that's also the reason why this war is ramping up because um um when Yahweh Shai comes, he's gonna destroy these elites, bring them down, um and, and um. You know, you know all, all them, uh, all many crowns are gonna be upon his head. Um, okay, this is um, Psalms fifty-two verse one says, "Why, um, Zwaki, a Psalm of David when, uh." Doeg the Edomite came and told Saul and said unto him David come to the house of uh, him um, Ahimelech why, bo why boastest thou thyself in mi mischief O mighty man the goodness of the most high endures continually thy tongue divides mischief like a sharp razor working deceitful thou lovest evil more than good and lying rather than speak righteousness to lie. Thou lovest devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue. Um, the Most High shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thy, thee away and pluck th thee out of thy dwelling place, root thee out of the land of the living. The righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him. You know, because, um, um, because this was um when um when Saul was going off, and um King David uh was declared the new king over Israel, because um um because that was um you know the Lord's plan. King Saul, um, he, um, he went off so much that Yahweh Shemel Shai ended up killing him, um, uh, I'll go to another scripture, um, which is Psalms 20. Uh, well, no, one twenty-six. Verse one, it's Psalms one twenty-six. Verse one says, um, "When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like um, that. We were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue was singing. Then said they among the heathen." Yahweh has done great things for them. 
because all these heathen nations are going to see that Yahweh Yahshai only loves us, only only deals with us, because we're his people. You know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans are his people. We're, we're, we're his children. We're, we represent him on the earth. You know, um, read verse 13, I mean verse 6, 3, 3, not 13, 3. Um, Yahweh has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again, I try to thee, O Yahweh, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall weep in, weep, weep in joy. He that go forth and weep, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. So in that time, all Israel will be at will be saved, will be at peace, because we're in the kingdom, you know. And this captivity will feel like a dream, you know. It it won't be like it'll be like a bad nightmare we woke out of, and we'll be like we we were, you know. And the 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 elders of Israel, which will be the elect of the nation, which is the top elite, they'll they'll have to re what's the word you know tell us those stories of the time when you were in captivity re 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 um uh what's the word they would have to i wouldn't say reprogram but would have to bring us back to remembrance in a way because or they'll have to um, tell us about it again. The same thing when Esau is obliterated out of existence, we'll have to have like something that will uh, let it be known that this nation was once alive and now they're they're extinct. You know, the same with with us being in captivity. It will we'll have to have something that will say we were once in captivity, now we're not in captivity no more. And we're forever going to be in rulership and forever have these heathens under our feet, you know, serving us, you know. I'm going to move on to another scripture. Um, this is Second Edris, chapter 4, verse 26. Second Edris, chapter 4, verse 26, it says, Then answer he, and then answer he me and said, the more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel. For the world hath fast to haste it fast to pass away. Yeah, because um, you know, the more um, you know, this this world is um, what's the word? Um, I'll read verse twenty-seven. It says. We cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and from you. For, yeah, for this world is full of wickedness. You know, they, they can't comprehend what the righteous has, has, you know, what's the word, in store for them to come. You know, um, and, um, anyway, this is, uh, Baruch. Chapter 5, verse 1. Um, uh, it says, this Luke chapter 5, verse 1, it says, Put off, O Israel, the garment of mourning and affliction. Put on the comeliness of glory that cometh forth from the Most High forever. Cast about thee a double garment of the righteousness uh, which cometh from the Most High and set a diadem on thy, thy head of the glory of the everlasting. Because um Yahweh Shai, when he um grants the kingdom and salvation to you know the elect nation Israel in the first go round and, and all Israel and, and you know very in um you know um uh, we're not gonna be in a, a sorrowful state of, uh, of and we're not gonna receive you know curses and affliction anymore. Um, as we do on this side. Um, read verse 3. 
for the most high will show thy brightness unto every country under heaven, you know, um, because he's going to glorify his people because we're a representation of him. And as he glorifies his people, his name is magnified. His, his name is glorified also through us. It says, verse 4, For thy people shall be called of, of the Most High forever, the peace of righteousness, the glory of, of the Most High's worship. Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high. And I look about towards the east. Behold, thy children gather from the west unto the east. By the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the name of uh, the Most High. For they departed from thee on foot, and were led away of their enemies. But the Most High bringing them unto thee, exalting glory, and as the children of the kingdom. Because um, this word has been scattered across the four corners of the earth, you know, by the way of the internet. You know, everybody, and by the way of YouTube, too. Um, because everybody... You know, on earth has no excuse, especially of the nation of Israel. You know, every everybody of the nation of Israel has no excuse. This truth is everywhere, you know, all over the place. Even celebrities are, understand this truth. I mean, know that they're Israelites. I mean, um, it says, For the Most High has appointed that every high hill and bank of long continuance should be cast down and valleys filled up to make even the ground that Israel may be safely in the glory of the Most High. Moreover, even the woods, every sweet-smelling tree shall overshadow Israel by the commandment of the Most High. For Yahweh shall lead Israel with joy in the light of his glory, with the mercy and righteousness that cometh from him. So Yahweh Bashim Yashai, um, you know, he, um, you know, has prepared for you elect of Yahusha from the beginning. Um, he he um, will gather and uh, protect those that are predestined to understand and receive this knowledge. Um, Anyway, I'm gonna move on um, to another scripture. This is Matthew 25, and verse 31. Um, Matthew 25, verse 31 it says, "When the Son of Man shall come in His glory, and all the holy angels with Him, then shall He sit upon the throne of His glory. Um, before Him, and before Him shall the gathering of all nations." Um, and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divided the sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on his left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the earth. Because the uh, sheep are the, um, the elect of nation Israel and um, the goats. Uh, part of the goals is two thirds and the heathens, um, because um, you know um, if if I read down it says uh, for I was hungry, and ye gave me meat; I was thirsty, ye gave me drink; I was stranger, ye took me. In. And this part, and thirty five is talking about the those those men of the Lord, those those brothers that um, did those those selfless acts. Um, towards um, towards each other, and also, and and if you continue reading, um, because um, if you if you if a you know a brother in the truth, you if he's going through hardship, you give him a place to stay, or if he's hungry, you feed him. You know, that's as if you're doing it towards Yahweh Shai, because, um, you know, because um, he said, if you do at least to at least to one of my brother, you've done a 
unto me. So if you do it to a servant of Yahweh Shai, you, you, it's like you're doing it also unto Yahweh Shai, because you also have to think of the brotherhood as 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 Yahweh Shai is there with us, you know. Um, but you also um, and and also the goats, um, the two thirds of Israel being a part of the goats, because. They're not uh, a part of this truth. They they have no un understanding of this word, um, and they're not um, what's the word? Um, they're not um, giving. Um, they're not showing charity towards a, a brother of the man of the Lord. You know. You know. This is Daniel. No, actually, I'm gonna end it right. I'm gonna say all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yashad, Bashim Kakadash, the one who is the apostle of the millstone. So I chase you, I can teach all the truth sincerity, inshallah. Yeah. It's too long. It takes forever to get this down. Hold on. Block